All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce, as usual. It is Thursday, November 12th. What's going on today? We broke, brought out one of my favorite posters. So you can kind of guess, right? What are we talking about today? Well, we are talking about this anniversary. It is the 30th anniversary of the release of this single by Madonna. This one right here, Justify My Love. And what a song and what a single that was and what a controversy for those of you who remember. All right, so how did this come about? She puts out her first ever greatest hits, The Immaculate Collection, three days after this single come out, came out. This is the lead-off single off of this record, and uh, it was a jam-packed greatest hits, by the way. That was a great, great greatest hits. See what I did there? Uh, it was her first ever greatest hits, and like I said, it was jam-packed. Now, she put out this record, Justify My Love, and it's this trip-hop song. It's written by Lenny Kravitz. I mean, it's full of just, just full of sex, right? I mean, that's what it's all about. And then the, the media was all excited about a Madonna and Lenny Kravitz collaboration. Uh, also written by this woman, Ingrid Chavez, who did not get credit at the time, and she sued and then got credit after that. Uh, lyrics were some lyrics were added by Madonna um, and this song style this trip hop her first for her would lead two years later to that album erotica uh, which we will uh, discuss when it's time but everyone here remembers erotica right that's a different topic we will cover it but remember she put out her book speaking of sex she put out her sex book and that was also a big big deal uh so she puts out this single and it's black and white and it's this homage to a french director it's filmed in in france and of course it's immediately banned by mtv banned by all the networks uh she gets interviewed by i think nightline and who plays the video in its entirety and says you know don't you stand to make more money by banning this uh by mtv banning and she's like i guess so but she didn't really get it. She's like, I don't understand why people will pay money to go to the movies to see people blown up for no reason, but they won't watch, uh, they won't let them watch two girls kiss or two guys snuggle, whatever, you know? I mean, they, she couldn't really get that, but she was way ahead of her time, right? Uh, the video, obviously, uh, full of all this imagery, black and white, like I said, the thing she's wearing, the singing, I mean, it's very sultry and that deep, that voice, that whispering voice. Um, and, I mean, what did she do? She put it out as a... Uh, uh, VHS single first ever VHS single by her and I think the first ever VH single for anyone in the United States that's this one right here who remembers VHS anyone remember these guys well that was her single she put it out I think it was 998 or something like that she sold a lot of those it went to number two on the video charts and it spent 39 weeks on the charts there as far as the video is concerned so that's how she got the video out there um and it's a great song i have always liked the song so the critics were mixed some loved it some were not so you know keen on it but many people said one of her best songs ever what do you guys think this, this is a great trip hop song uh i think it's a great song in general uh so it's been 30 years tell me your memories about this record uh, so without further ado, that's your song of the day. I know you guys are, I know, well, now what? Wanting, needing, waiting for me to play a song of the day, aren't you? Well, here you go. It's Justify My Love, Madonna. Great song. Like I said, what's not to like? Enjoy it. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you for Octane Friday tomorrow. And as usual, we'll catch you on the flip side.